flat, 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 flat. Sup dudes, I'm Manessa from Insane Destruction and I'm gonna tell you guys my experience at 2018 Anime Expo. And we woke up at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning and lost like $200. So as you can tell, this is gonna be a fun story. We woke up at 4, we got our makeup and stuff, and we had so much trouble because I don't know how to do makeup, and she does, but she was doing her own makeup, so I had to work with what I had, and just so much happened. It just made no sense as to why I didn't know what I was doing, but whatever. I ended up getting the makeup done, right? We got in the car at like 7, so you can see why, you know, we woke up at fucking 4, because we needed fucking 3 hours to get fucking ready. <laughs> We got there and we were completely at a loss. She parked, her mom parked far away, kind of not super far, but fucking far still. So we had to figure out where we were going. We got in the line and then the line fucking stopped because I don't even know, my dude. I think they said that like it was too crowded or some shit, but still the fact that we stood in the burning ass fucking hot ass sun for so long i was so mad at myself i was sweating my armpits were screaming for help they were crying my dude like fucking crying but that doesn't matter we got to see a lot of weird people in line dressed up that's weird things it was even this mask guy you're gonna see him there was this mask guy my dude and he was amazing i was so surprised that he was even fucking able to wear that mask all that time i was like so at a loss for words when you walk into anime expo there's um this big ass lobby that you see and that's where everyone kind of crowds around that's where you see all your cosplayers or people you want to take a picture with stuff like that that's where you'd see them. We went upstairs first by accident. Number one, do not go upstairs when you go to Anime Expo. That's where you lose all your fucking money. Like every last dollar you brought in there, that's where you'd lose it most likely. But we only had a one day pass. So, it, you know, if you have a four day pass, maybe you won't lose all your money, but you'll still lose all your money by the fourth day. We walked up there, we were looking around, pretty much walking hours on end. All we did really was walk and look around, but we were walking around, we got some fucking cards and shit, uh, we got a free bag and shit. We walked out because I had told my friend, we're going to name her Token. So I told Token we needed to go because if we stayed, we were going to be broke and we did. We went downstairs and we went and we had difficulties finding Artist Alley, which is where I wanted to go because I was looking for all the gay shit. So I was walking and we found the Artist Alley. The Artist Alley is in a fucking parking lot, it looks like. Like, legit, it looks like a fucking parking lot and that's where they were. And I was so confused, but I was like, okay, I guess that that's where they fucking live. The fucking parking lot, I guess. So when we had got there, I wasn't able to video videotape because I respected artists. It said in specific not to videotape. So I had to stop videotaping for that fact that I respected the artist and I know that some people like to screenshot and still art and that's not something I want happen to me so I wouldn't do that to them. We walked and we were pretty much bombarded with people so many fucking people it was so hot musty and sweaty up in there i was dying but at least they kept the air conditioning on so it was cold but it was hot you know everybody stank ass breath and body odor was just everywhere and you're like dude go the fuck away somewhere like why do you stink so bad <sighs> anyway back to what i was saying then we went on another spree of walking and walking and walking. And we walked so fucking much 
through the upstairs, downstairs. We didn't even get our fucking welcome bags because we didn't know where the fuck they were. whoop de doo Isn't that always so fucking nice? So we had walked back upstairs and we were like, okay, it's time to lose all our fucking money. Hell yeah. So we walked and we walked and we walked some more <laughs> until we finally found the majestic Yaoi army table. That is where I lost all my money. Do I regret it? No. Do I wish I brought more money? Yes. But then again, I mean, it was all worth it. I spent $200. No, not $200. I spent $145 there. Um, but that, that's, that's a different story. You'll see what I bought at the end of the video. So, we went there once, and we bought maybe, like, two posters, and then we got a third one for free, which is an amazing poster. I'm in love with it. It's so fucking cute. He's so pure and fucking adorably sexy and cute. Like, ugh. All the pictures I bought, I am very proud of my life. Decisions, they slay me. <laughs> so, we were walking around again. But then we heard that there were these signings going on back down the artist alley. And we were like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I love the fucking shirt. I told you they're shirts. Like, do we have money? Do we have money? Oh my. His Instagram and shit down below. The Yaoi Army's one at least. He's an amazing artist. I really suggest you guys go and follow him. I love him to bits and bits. He is, um, but we went and we got our shit signed and, uh, it was amazing. Look, look, they wore some amazing ass shit, my dude. Just amazing. Uh, after we went there, we went back upstairs and we were like, oh yeah, uh, we wanted this tote bag that they had. They were like, you have to spend this amount of money, which means you need to spend 25 more dollars than you already spent. And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. So we ran our asses back upstairs. And that was just a continuous cycle. We went back and forth and back and forth. We also were looking for the 18 plus because we had a ID card. Not that I'm fucking old the age. But we had an ID card and they let us in. And that place was pretty much filled with horny ass kids. Well, not even horny ass kids. Horny ass teenage boys that wanted to look at some anime tits. There's also a game playing where you can fuck an anime girl. And let me tell you how a crowd of people were around that shit. Just a crowd of them. It was amazing. Uh, a lady also wanted to take a picture with me and my friend. And I thought that was amazing. I didn't think I'd actually be taking pictures with people. But, oh, it was amazing. I loved that. She, she was a really sweet lady. My friend bought shit from her. I'm pretty sure that's probably why. <laughs> back to the Yaoi Army. We went back there like six or seven times. And then we found the 18 plus, which I had said, but I didn't get in there when my friend got in there because I was distracted by this collection of yaoi books. There was also straight books, but who gives a shit about straight books? It's all about that fucking yaoi, my dudes. So I had got distracted. I had to push my friend in line and then she left me as I was deciding on the books. By the way, I bought Totally Captivated because that's my favorite fucking story and that's what they had there. One of my favorite fucking stories, at least. But I ended up having to fucking call her phone because she left me outside like a whore. She is. Fuck you, friend. Fuck you, token. Fuck you. <sighs> she ended up saving me, of course. Uh, we didn't leave until like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. In the end, I had a lot of fun and I do plan on going next year again because it's a really amazing experience and if you're an otaku, I really suggest you go. But rules to be going, do not go upstairs because that's where you lose all your fucking money. Uh, downstairs is where the um, artist alley is and um, Yaoi Army, fuck you guys. I love you, but I hate you because I don't have any moral of the story is um yaoi army steals all your money and if you go to their booth you're going to lose every penny you owned also 18 plus is kind of overrated i mean my friend had fun so i guess whatever 
I didn't really have any fun because there wasn't really anything super gay there that I wanted. But, uh, and there's a lot of cosplayers. Those, those people are amazing because I could never do it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing for more. For the rest of this video, I'm going to put little videos that I found funny that I recorded. And then uh, I'm going to put in the stuff that I've gotten, which is going to be over music because I just don't want to talk anymore. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I do have a DeviantArt. I don't use it much, but you can follow me there, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to make a Twitter soon, so follow me there for updates and stuff when I make it. Uh, follow me on Twitch, too, because... I want to be able to do live streams one of these days and um, if you want to join in on my raid that I'm going to be doing because that's what I want to do, um, follow me on Twitch. I'll figure out what day. Other than that, I have nothing else to say. So until next time, I guess, peace my dudes. <laughs> Your dog's adorable. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. She always called me since new body from like this is my wife. Come near her. Whoa. Ooh. That mean no. Oh. Me talking to my dad. You come near. Tonight is no one on our side is on our